Hey guys, this is probably going to be a random video now because this is what happens when I just randomly turn on my thing because I'm about to do something and I'm like, oh, let me just turn this on, camera on real quick. Should have made some issues in there. Okay. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Darcy and this is Darcy's Mixed Media. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing really great. I in my I do a live on Facebook in a group, Junk Journal with Penny. And today... Hmm, I'm to this out, don't I? I've already got enough texture paste all over my cork board here. I need like a surface that's not shiny and doesn't have a lot of lines on it that I that also wipes clean. Oh, I gotta wipe that off too, don't I? I just finished cleaning off my stencils and everything from making my texture. Now this one's not gonna be great because there was a lot of paint on it, so these lines are not gonna show. It's only these higher lines that are probably gonna show. I'm assuming I washed my other um, gel thingies, but not this one. So this one's still a mess. It is what it is. Let's grab some paint. Some random paint. Let's, oops, sorry. All right. Let's, a lot of paint goobers on that one. There we go. Did I shake it? I don't know. Oh, I kind of want to, this one's Waterfall, and I love it, and it's almost gone, and I'm going to the craft store tomorrow, so I thought now would be a good time to just use it up, so I have a reason to buy some. That, and I think Surfboard or something like that was the other one. You know what I need? Do you know what I need? I have a need, a need for a piece of paper. And I can just roll that off on. We don't, oh, well, I'm not a big fan of pink, so. All right, let's try this one. I won't get all of it, but I should get some of it, but I didn't get it on there very well. Let's try some of these up in the corner. And also, they're probably not completely dry yet. They might not be thick enough. Hmm. <laughs> well, let me just, that needs to dry. Um, that one's definitely, this one I got wicked thick, but it's not, it doesn't look even. And also I probably need to put it on a harder board or it's just going to crack at some point. Not that that's totally bad. And this one's probably too thin. Trying to get the right thickness of texture plates <coughs> with your stencils is hard, but this is what I used. Recommended by PM Artist Studios when they make their texture plates. They use this light and fluffy modeling piece by TCW, which is the craft work, Crafters Workshop. I got this on Amazon. It's not cheap, but I mean, look how cleanly you get this lovely, like, as a texture paste. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's see if any of these show for, I might have moved it. All right, that one I pressed a little harder on. That one I can see a little bit. And obviously, yes, my paint was still wet. Um, well, we'll be here all day if I just wait for that all day. Let me get a couple more. Let me set this off to the side while it dries. Because if I don't let it dry, it's just going to mush all together, the paint. I know people say don't put paper on these. But the reason I have paper on them is because I'm... I cleaned it and I oiled it. As long as you oil it regularly, it really doesn't matter. The paper does, um, you know, pull the oil out. All right, which side was my? Oh, that's the scratch side. The other side I will probably never use again, so that doesn't matter. I was hoping some of my dents would come out. The problem is, I probably need to clean it a few more times. I think some of my dents and bubbles came out. All right, before I start, let me get this little piece of gold fleck off of here. And then there's, oh, a couple of specks of something was on there, which may come off when I do this. So I don't need a lot. And some of the, I used my pan pastels on these and it stained them. But a lot of it came off when I, and that's what some of these specks are from, is from the um, pan pastels that were coming off. I didn't do a perfect job on these, but I can tell you, it looks better than it did. 
See, now my hand's a little bit blue because it still had a little bit of blue on it. All right. Make sure it gets everywhere. Um, you can use mineral oil. Um, I know PM Artist Studio, they found some food grade mineral oil that smells pretty that came with the uh, cutting board. And they bought the cutting board because it had a thing on it that they think they could turn into a baron. A baron is one of those uh, things, you know, that you would use to, well, it would have a flat bottom. But, you know, to uh, go over your paper with. B-A-R-E-N. All right. This is the cleanest it's been. I don't know if you saw this the last time I used it. It was pretty dark blue. It's actually a lot cleaner now. Just letting some of that oil sink in and dry up. And like I said, this side I'm not worried about. I can keep this paper on there because it's got a scratch on that side. And unless I want something that's a messed up jelly plate print, I probably... This apparently I did not have as cleaned off as I'd hoped, but... The paper, because it's pulling up the oils, also pulls up the jelly plate a little bit. So if you have bubbles and dents, it should pull up those dents and bubbles. That's one reason to use a very clean piece of paper, making sure it's clean and oiled and all that fun stuff. Okay. Apparently my alarm was going off. So, let's see. Which one? So I'm just going to use some bright color today get some of this I know some people use that but I don't know what for don't know if I now my plate is nice and sticky because it's been re-oiled this is my older plate super stained oh come on I think I need a little bit more I know it's either too much or too little I can never not never sometimes I get the perfect amount and I love when that happens Oh, hold on. I just saw a piece of paint skin. I do have a video. I should link it. I'll try to put it in the... If I go on my computer later, I'll put it on the end screen. So that... Or put it... Yeah, in the end screen, probably. Alright, where's one of the ones that I did today? Let's try... I'm going to cut this one in half. Do I want to cut it in half? Oh, I do. I want to cut it. Should have done it before my glue. These dried really fast too. Because I just made them in my live, which probably ended around 3.30, and it's 4.09 and they're dry. And I'm getting texture paste on my. Right. Oh, I want to go this way because usually I do things landscape. And I'm just pressing harder on the outside edges than the, because that's what I do. I don't know why. There we go. Might have doubled up on some places. I think that one I might have got thick enough. All right, let me put that to the side to dry. Has to dry. If it doesn't dry, it's, you're not going to see that. It's just going to all go over it. Let's see, is this one dry? This one might be dry. I don't know that the green is going to. Should use a contrasting color. Where is my magenta? Magenta, magenta. Where did you go? I don't know. I used blue, right? So I need. Right. Oh, if I use this one, I gotta be really fast because it's metallic and metallics dry. Fast. So let me grab a piece of paper. But it would be a contrasting color to the blue. For a pickup. I just can't let it sit around for too long. Yeah, that's the only thing about keeping the thing on the bottom, the, um, the acrylic thing that comes with it is it slides around uh, yeah more of that texture paste had gotten on there I had a lot of stuff to pick up on this so I might leave this for a minute or two or three or four 
I have one. Oh, it's just 32 pound paper, so it's heavy. I'm just folding that to get it out of the way. Because I don't have my paper cut down to the size. Like some people might. Alright, I'm going to set that to the side for a minute. And is this one dry? I don't see shine, so I think it might be dry. Also, I get these little pieces of modeling paste that want to fall all over the place. I think that's just because it's my first time using them. Hopefully it won't continue to do that. All right, opposite of green is red. I don't really want to, still looking for the magenta. <laughs> oh, is that it? Clinacridone magenta. Okay, this is a new one. I still have some of my old one. And we're getting paint everywhere because that's what we do. That's why I used to be misadventures with mixed media. Because, you know, kind of make a mess. There were some misadventures in the beginning. But it was really hard for people to remember. So I was nice and I changed it to something simpler. Plus I wanted to get my, like, per like you can't change, like if you want to personalize your YouTube channel name, uh, link name, your link, not just your name, but your link. Um, I don't think you could do it more than once, so I kind of decided that, you know, two birds, one stone. Put that on there. This is 32 pound premium paper right here. I don't always use that, but that's what I pulled off my shelf. It's very smooth. I'll tell you that. But I wanted to try out, so my texture plates were clean and I wanted to try them out. Um, if I didn't like really not want to wash stencils right now, I'd show you how I did them. But basically, uh, all right, I will. I'll show you how I did it real quick. Where's one I don't have yet? Um, where's one that I haven't made a, let's see. Wrong side. Do I want any of these or do I want the bigger ones? Could do squares. I don't need that. The brick. I don't I have a stencil for. I mean, I have a stamp. Oh, I liked it. I did that one. No, I didn't do that one because let's do that one. All right. So I'm going to take a piece of cardboard, which I don't know if the. I know that this cardboard is, is going to be thick enough where it doesn't bend. And I'm pretty sure that's what you want. Something that's not going to bend. This one. Was, oh, this one was thicker, so I think that one's okay. These ones I might have to double up. Um, these were just packaging ones that I think I might have to double up on or they'll start cracking. And the ones that came out of my cat food, I'm not sure about those. Also, I'm not sure where they went. What in the world? I had them earlier. How far could they have gone? Oh, this is similar a similar size. Let me just cut down a piece and then if I have to double it I will just glue onto the back. The important thing when you're making texture plates though is um, you don't want to do both sides because then when you're pressing down on it you're going to hurt your hand. Now if you're making a texture plate for your gel plate you want your words going the right way. I know that doesn't sound right but it is. Wait a minute. That's right. Because then when you put it upside down on your texture plate, it's upside down. I mean, on your jelly plate, it's upside down in your jelly plate. And then, um, when you put your paper down and lift it up, it'll be right side, right side on your paper. I gotta go grab my palette knife. Yeah, it turns out that I wasn't done cleaning my stencils anyway. So I guess it doesn't matter that I'm dirty another stencil. It'll just remind me to go and clean all the stencils. They're just in there sitting in water. The ones that just didn't have as much paint on them came out fine. But the ones that had more paint on them, some of the paint was coming off from sitting in the water. So, like I said, this is light and fluffy modeling paste. And I'm putting it on here. First, I'm going to go through and get it into the stencil. 
all the way into the stencil, right? And by the way, I love this texture paste. I want to, it comes out nice and clean, even though I put it on super thick. Now I'm going to go through and make it thick. And the hardest part about this is making it level. So I want it thicker than the stencil, but I also want to try to make it as level as I can. And I'm using more than I'm going to need. I'm going to end up wiping up a lot off to put back in the, in the can. Ah, don't do that. Don't slip a piece of paper in there. That's not... This is uh, easier when you have something to hold on to. I cut my paper. I should have, I should have waited to cut it later. Now I know. So you can almost not even see some of this stencil anymore. But I need to see it at the same opaqueness if it's going to be, like if it's too thicker in some spots than others, that's not going to work. So, So it's thicker than the stencil itself because I need it to be as high up as I can get it. And now would be the time to take off any of this stuff on the edge you don't want. So that's how I made my um, stencils. I just, I mean my texture plates. I just put them on there as thick as I could get it, but as level as I could get it too. Both are important. And using the light and fluffy, that's also important. And only doing one side, that's also important. <laughs> and then I just scrape it off of here. Put it back in there. And then, yeah, I'm not gonna save that. I'm just gonna take that right out of there and put that back in there. Some of them I saved. Put that back in there, put the cover on, and either put this in water or go wash it right away. So I'm gonna pause you and go stick this in the water with the other ones. So I had totally forgotten that I had bought this stuff. And then Patricia mentioned it in um, in the live this morning. They do a live every PM Artist Studio, Patricia and Mariah, mom and daughter. They're fun to watch. They're adorable. I love them. Go check them out if you haven't already. They also have a store with stencils you can go check out, which I plan to get some more. I have a few because I did a trade and I finally found them so I can actually use them oh my goodness that'll scrape off the glass all right where was I so yeah I just wanted to show you real quick how I made them I don't know if it's the right way but that's how I did it and now that one's gonna dry um, somewhere and this should be dry hopefully dry enough to pull now uh, also, Patricia calls this ripening. She usually lets them ripen for even more than that, but I let it ripen a little bit longer than I normally do because I knew that I had a lot of stuff left on the plate. And I wanted that off so we could see the texture plates a little better when I go back in. Although some of it showed up. But there was just a lot on the plate, so... It is not a great indication of how well or how not well the texture plates work. So that I just was cleaning off my plate. Still kind of cool. But you can see, well, if you can read German, you can see it's front words when I take it off the print. Um, you can see the stamps I used at another time. And I don't even remember the other... It didn't really come out good, the first texture plate that I used on there. So let's try again. I'm going to take this stuff off the corner here. And since I'm cleaning some more stencils this afternoon, I will probably go ahead and clean this plate and oil this plate too today. My plates are getting some TLC this week. It's still sticky though, so that's good. It's a good sign. If it stops being sticky, you definitely need to oil it. That is definitely a sign that it needs to be oiled paint oh maybe I'll do copper first this time might need more it's hard to tell 
I don't know. I'm always afraid I'll use too much, and then I either do use too much or I use too little. And because it's a metallic, whoops, it'll dry really fast, so you need to get in there fast. Um, oh, I don't think this one's going to work because I didn't get it thick enough because it was a really thin mylar. But I'm going to try it. Something's happening. This is a stencil from a stencil I had made. Um, so now that has to dry. I know it dries pretty quickly, but I'm going to put it to the side because I want it. If it doesn't dry completely, it's not going to have a clear. So all those times that I've been frustrated because, you know, it's just because I didn't, because it didn't show. It's because I didn't wait for it to dry before I put on the pull-up layer. So that's why having more than one plate is nice. So because I used a contrasting color on this, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. If I use blue, it wouldn't be as obvious. Ooh, that's still wet on the edge. Um, so yeah, that I liked how the texture plate worked for that. Um, I like that better than using a stencil because when you use the stencil, you end up with a line from the stencil. And that's why I wanted to make texture plates. And then I forgot that I wanted to make texture plates and then Patricia mentioned texture plates today and I was like, oh yeah, I want to make texture plates. I remember that. What else can we play with here? Oh, here we go. So, let's see. So I have the numbers here that are frontwards. They'll be backwards on my plate and then they'll be frontwards when I pull them off. And apparently, I keep forgetting to make sure that, you know how uh, Tim Holtz's stencils have the hole at the top? Yeah, you kind of want to make sure you cut that off, so. And doing your stencil before cutting it was easier. That would be another suggestion I would have. This also would be easier if I just used an X-Acto knife. You don't want to use an X-Acto knife on your Tim Holtz glass cutting thing. They don't tell you that. Although then they're like, oh, no, we only guarantee it if you use our cutting things and then they're like oh, like well I never read that anywhere so just don't cut on the even though it's glass and you're supposed to be able to cut on it nope can't just just don't do some circles too I'll just leave that like that uh maybe some of this too try that and that's the other thing I like being able to use these flower thingies but then they're in a square stencil and you end up with the lines around them and yeah. So I tried to get as many as I could. So even though my stencil might have been like three inches taller than this, I at least got part of the stencil on there. Because I think there were like two more leaves on this one. Alright, color. Color, color, color. I don't like that. Let's go with a... Uh, this is Thalo Blue. Go with a dark color or the lighter color behind it, maybe. That's a lot. I say that's a lot, and then it ends up being not a lot, but I think that's a lot. I think it's going to be a lot. Ooh, red. I might do red. Be I like red, and a red and a teal is nice. Or oh, orange. And yes, this is... Let me grab another paper. I don't want it too thick because then it's going to take forever to dry. Get my big one out. Just a really, and if I, if I do this too much, it's just going to start pulling back up because it'll be dry, which kind of wants to do, but. All right, let's get our some numbers on here. I usually try to do landscape because if I'm doing journal pages, that's the direction they're going to go. Some of it's going to be thicker in some spots than others. Oh, I was going to do some circles too, wasn't I? The only thing is they're not as flexible as a stamp would be. And also I just... <laughs> This is why you want them cut down to the right size. <laughs> that way you're not trying to do the wrong, the wrong side of the, yeah. 
I'll cut that one out later. Let's see which ones I saw. I did this Tim Holtz little circle things here. So I have this one, and then I have this big, um, oh, you know what that's called, hexagons, <clears throat> beehive, honeycomb, 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 oh, that honeycomb. Sorry, but I dropped some pieces of modeling paste fell on here. That's all on me because this is user error, all this. I don't know. Or maybe, I, yeah, I think hopefully after a few times of using these, I won't be having as much issue with the modeling paste coming off. But if if my thing is bendy, then I probably will. Ugh. Did I just like drop more on there? That's so stupid. Okay, gonna let this dry before adding the paint to it. I, don't, I need a place to put things. All right, I'm gonna take the copper one and uh, maybe do this thing a blue over with the copper, see what happens. It would just mix if I didn't wait for it to dry. This is why it's important to make, wait for it to dry. Got it a little thick. You don't want it quite that thick. That should be good. That looks good. That looks good to me. Right, gonna cut it in half. I'm going to cut it down to the size of the thing anyway. I want this dry. And if our other one's not ready to put a second layer on yet, I do have another plate. No, I don't see any shiny, so it should be dry. It's not coming up when I touch it, so that should be dry, actually. I don't know. Okay, so I want a contrasting color. Or, oh, I was going to do the bright green. See how that does. But I think I might do a couple layers. So I'm going to do the green, and then I'm going to do the flower texture stamp, I think, and then I'll let that dry and do another layer and see what happens. So this is my first time making and playing with texture plates, which somehow reminded me that I need to make some butterfly impresslets. Had a special order. It's apparently Tim Holtz's new supply toy thingy is um now everybody wants to do the butterflies so i'll make sure and get see i've got i'm pressing down too hard i'm getting the square i don't want the square so i'm not sure what i'll do about that just make sure i press more to the middle i guess make sure i don't press the outside of it don't know if i press hard enough for that will show or not but put that to the side and let it dry that's going to take a little longer to dry. Alright, let's see how this one came out. Fingers crossed. I know I don't usually do the drying thing. Um, I have another, I'll have to do the voiceover for it still, but I played yesterday and I, and I did this. Um, I mean, they didn't get awesome prints, but... I am getting improved... Um, that was paint that was still on there. So I don't know if you can see that or not. So that one, even though it was really thin, still worked. So maybe I don't need to make them as thick as I thought I needed to make them. I mean, it didn't work perfectly, but it worked. It still got some interest. Don't know if you guys can. It's got the copper too. Wiggle it. Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Should we do another one? Like you can answer me. Ha, you're just stuck here with me doing all the things I want to do, whether you want it or not. Not really. Let's see. Some magenta. I'm not going to make you guys wait. I'm like, I really should finish the old one first. This is the new one. This one is Artsmith because it was on sale. So I thought I'd try it. I think they have it at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, that was way too much. 
way, way too much. But won't my roll off paper be fun? Still a little thick, it just means it's gonna take a little while to dry. Do our leaves. Oh, see, I did. I pressed too much and I got the board down, but that's all right. Could have turned that over, it might have been a little more interesting. I pressed really hard, and because it touched this part too, it pulled up the paint. But I think it really did something interesting. Um, I don't know if you can see or not. Hold on. Can you see how it just made like a thick outline of the of the feathers? Because it pulled up some, but it also is kind of cool. Mm, let that dry. Let it dry. Let it dry. Oh, and I wish I had made some. Oh. You wished it, you could make it happen. These I've gotten from PM Artist Studio. PM Artist Studio. Um, I don't know that this one will work for a texture plate as well because the X's didn't work, but we'll see. But these are bigger. So I wanted to make a couple texture plates using these. So pulling this back out again. Use the gross stuff first. That's how we do it. Use the gross stuff first. So I do a thinner layer first to make sure it's down in my stencil. And then I do a thicker layer. Oh, I think I'm not going to play with that anymore. I'm just going to take that right off. Mm, not as, you know what? And then if it doesn't come out like you wanted, just take that off of there so you can reuse it. I think... The reason it is because I need something smoother like this. This has too many bumps in it for what I'm doing here. So I'm going to come on the side here. Get those down and I'll just cut it off. Like I said, it's easier to do this with a bigger piece and then cut it. So trying to get it as level as I can. Also, I want to make sure I get off the texture paste that's over here. That's much, much, much better. So the problem was that this cardboard bumpy. This cardboard smooth. Then I might just leave that on there for some fun. I really like this texture paste though, just as a texture paste. It doesn't get down underneath the stencil like some of the other texture pastes I've used. I don't get a lot of paint in there because that paint wasn't dry. Just spread that out. Alright, I gotta wash that one too, but let me go ahead and do this one real quick. I need to find something to do it on. I had all these pieces of cardboard earlier. Will it fit on here? I think it will. It'll just fit. My gross stuff first. Get that out of the way. Because, you know, there's paint and ink on all my stencils. So, all right, get that nice and smooth on there. And now go over it thick and as smooth as I can. Smooth as a baby's bottom. But level. Baby's bottoms are not level. That's the thing. You want it, well, it can have texture. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. It does need to be level, I believe. If Mariah watches this, she'll tell you where I went wrong. <laughs> she, so look in the comments, because Mariah might watch this, and she'll be able to tell you where I went wrong. If I should have done something differently. I probably should have. And then if I wanted to, I could go ahead and take that texture paste off. And put it back in there, but it'll make some fun texture for a tag. So I'm going to cut that off, put it on a tag, or back it onto a tag. It'll be cool. So I'm leaving that like that. 
can get myself a new sprayer off paper. Isn't that cool? All right, I'm gonna pause and go wash these because I want to be able to use them again in the future. These they don't. These are like little cast, not cast offs. What do you call these? I forget what Mariah calls them. They're, they don't sell those ones in the store, but they have similar ones. Those um, PM Artist Studio stencils are made from Yupo, so I didn't just sit those in the water. I went ahead and cleaned them. I don't know how long they would be hold up in water, I guess. But that means something should be dry now. Let's see. Got our Conacridone Magenta. Ooh, I've got some primary yellow. Do I want primary yellow? Well, I had primary yellow, but I got Naples yellow. Came no, I don't want to use my Naples yellow. It's weird. Believe me. Um, I know the leaves. You're like, use green. Why? Why use green? Just use green. green. That's just crazy talk. Actually, I might. <laughs> it's not as bright as the other green I was using. Unless I use the color shift. I might use the color shift. All right, I need a new piece of brayer off paper, which I'm not good like. I'll just fold it in half. That'll give me more sides to work with. All right, so this is color shift, folk art. <coughs> yeah, I don't know how it works. I really don't. You'd think that I did. That I would know something about it, but I don't. I don't. We'll see what happens. It it does weird stuff when you're trying to roll it out. I can tell you that much. There you go. All right, and then I think I need to put another color to lift it. Is what I think is going to have to happen. Now it has caused the magenta to be a little more purple. Um, I'm gonna put that to the side for a minute, and then I'll pull it probably with white. Um, oh, we can put our pole color on this. We have the blue and the green. Should we just do it? Just, it's spring. Happy first day of spring, everybody. As I'm recording this, it is March 20th. They say that the equinox, so day and night is equal. So that's fun. We like when the days get longer. It's a good thing. All right. Oh, stop wiping it back off. Not too much. Not too much. Let's just take one of these pink papers because it was to hand. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to soak my brayer in some, I think. I think this is what Patricia says to do. Yeah, Patricia's my hero with the, uh, jelly plating and whatnot and the patience to wait for it to ripen before she pulls it off i don't usually have that patience not for as long as she leaves it i'll leave this for a minute or so um put that up there and yeah i don't see any shine on this so i'm gonna find a pull color Ooh, now I might want to use this. This seems interesting to me to use this palmetto with, un, you know, as a pole. So the magenta is going to be on top. Well, you can't see it because I got paint all over the back of there. Then the color shift and then the green palmetto. Don't know why it's called pal palmetto. I think we've had some issue with palmetto bugs, but that's not what color they are. I'll tell you that. Seen enough to know. They sure are annoying though. I think I need a little bit more. I had such a thin layer, it's starting to pull back up because it's already drying because it was so thin. Oh, no! I probably should just let that sit for a minute. Come back with another pickup layer because it's too dry. It's just pulling right back up. What is up with that? All right, let me find a white. Oh, should I use white iridescent? Um. I'm just going to pull it up with my titanium white once it's dry. It's got to dry first. Um, yeah, because the more I play with it, the more I'm losing off of it. 
And we can maybe pull this one again. So it's that for a minute. Give or take. See, if I had a baron, I wouldn't have to use my fingers. So like a baron would be maybe something like this. You could do this. You could get a finio. You just need something with a flat bottom. Um, I think they tried something with felt on the bottom, and what happened was the felt just kind of, it, it would get paint on it, or it would just wear off, I don't know. So having a, a smooth, uh, solid, flat bottom for your baron, not for you. If you have a flat bottom, that's okay though. Nothing wrong with that. I've got like a big bump on this side. Is it because of the paper? Yes, it was because of the paper. Okay. Whew, I was worried that my plate got all warped, but it's all right. Oh, yeah. See, waiting even just a few minutes before you pull it makes such a big difference. All my edges come off. You know how like I used to do this and like so much of my edges would stay on there? And because I let it dry in between, I can see all my layers. So I can see the first layer was the numbers and the dots. And the second layer was the flowers behind that. And then the pink to pick it, no, the pink. Did I pick it up with the pink? Yeah, I picked it up with the pink, right? And yeah, very cool. I'm trying to figure out how it got purple. We started with blue, right? Oh, so some of the green must not have hit where the purple was. So instead of the darker green, I got purple when the magenta went on. Cool beans. Yeah, that came out cool. I think. I don't know. What do you think? Can you see it? See all the layers? Because I was patient and I let them dry in between, that's the difference. That is the difference between jelly, you know, pull it, make, you know, not waiting and waiting. It's a big difference. Who knew? Okay. I want to keep doing this, but you guys have a life, and so I'm going to stop recording now. Not now. I'm going to pull, I'm going to do this last one. Oops, which I just stuck my thumb in. I'm not going to have a corner on that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just going to pick it up with some titanium white, uh, which hopefully you have enough on here. Yes, I do. Okay, good. I've got a layer of the white and apparently some paint skin. Let's get that out of there. I'm really hoping this is ready to be pulled soon. The, where's the other half of the... Had a, why? What? Oh, remember I broke... Oh, that, that's why, because it's this paper. Okay. Well that corner anyway, right? Just wipe that off of there. Oh, let's try it. Oh, Baron. Baron. I'm trying to do quotes. Don't know why my thumb went up. <laughs> my son, my younger son, well, he's 21 now, but he always said, bunny ear, squeeze, squeeze. For, you know, quotes. Um, I've had these for years, so, but this, something like this could be used for a baron. And I keep meaning to find my, um, insulator, glass insulator. So I don't think it's quite flat on the bottom now. But this one's flat on the bottom. But if you do a lot of jelly plate prints, then you want something like that because paper will dry out your hands. How are we, how are we looking here? Oh, some of it's getting left. But that's all right. That'll just be good for our next. See, so that's why I don't mind that I pull them quickly because, you know, my next pull is going to have some nice grunge to it. But here we go. That came out cool. Can you see that? Uh, so we had the magenta. Well, and then we did the feathers on the magenta and then some color shift. And then uh, the palmetto and picked it up with the white because the palmetto was just not sticking real good. But there's some interesting stuff happening in the background because of all the layers. Oh, it's wet. So the layers that I did back there, that white was pretty thick right there. 
that's all right. It's still interesting. And then if you like rip this up and use it in collage and stuff, but yeah, I love what's happening back here. That's my favorite bit actually. I'm like, hmm, maybe I want to do one with just using those colors. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Yes, I've had this cough since the second time I had COVID. Last uh, March, May, end of April, beginning of May. Coming up on a year almost, having this stupid cough. Anyway, so yeah, we've got that. And that one, which is cool. That one. Did I have some other ones? Oh, that one was just cleaning off the plate, basically. Which I need to do with this other one. Did I have any other ones? Seems like I had more than that. And made another texture plate. Oh, here it is. I had another one with that one. And this one was used... I used this one, which is hardly raised at all, but still came out like com this one compared to, well, that one doesn't seem much thicker, does it? There we go. Yeah, that's thicker. You can see there's a difference in the thickness between those two plates. So now I have a whole bunch of texture plates. So yeah, you may see more jelly plate prints from me in the near future because I have more toys. All right, I hope you all have a delightful day. Love you guys.